Yes. Alright, of course the connection's unstable. Why would it be anything else? Completely not surprised. Don't know if it's me. Don't know if it's Twitch. Somewhere in between. Like, in theory, it shouldn't be me. But, you know. Doesn't usually last for long. We'll see what happens. Alright. So, here we go again. We're going to be picking up where we left off yesterday. Um, working on this guy. I mean, we didn't do too bad yesterday. We got this side. Um, the heck? Stop that. Windows 11? Stop it. Um, you hover your mouse over something accidentally and all these other things start popping up. Um, anyhow. So yesterday we got um, this side finished being filled in and then we got this side done. This side's a little bit more densely filled in than this side, but it's okay, that's okay. It shouldn't matter that much. Um, so today we're gonna work on shading our road here and then we're gonna head back into working on our grassy things in the background along the edge of the road. And I might take a peek here. You know what, let's do that before I put these finger doodles on while we're waiting to see if the connection's gonna stay alive. No, no, my precious tissues, come back. My precious tissues. Oh. I must have been really stuffy last night when I was trying to sleep. Cause I had a dream somebody surprised me and, and uh, brought home a box of tissues and I hugged that thing and cried. This is my tissues right now. That's what we got. And I thought it was so absurd that I was crying about that. Mm, I could probably do something with that maybe. Maybe. Oh, that's right. I was gonna grab that other yellow ochre. That's right. Mm, this is a little too. This one might be a little too. Well, which one would be more Indian yellow? This one or this one? This one would be like a yellow ochre and Indian yellow, I think. This one would be like straight up Indian yellow. Everybody's popping out. I'm popping out. Not me, personally. I'm not popping out. We've got all kinds of problems if that's happening. There's a red strand in here. What? Just subtly different. Could be a dye lot thing. But pretty damn close. Hmm. And this is kind of more like our a lighter oh that's got like a greeny yellow to it though. Hmm. I don't know if I like that. Or this. There's that. But wait. There's more. Of these little guys. Hmm. 
These are just, those are subtly different from each other. This one's a little bit lighter. This is more of like an orangey blue. That one's definitely more of an orange. Okay, let me go grab that other yellow paper real quick. So I can compare the two. I think the other one is slightly darker. So I've got a glorious gold that I didn't consider. And I've got the um, the mustard from Big Twist. So we might take some of this glorious gold and maybe some of this and, and work that into the the, the background here, maybe. Just to kind of tone it different. Or we could keep going with this shade in here and maybe mix in one of these and then use the other one f for mixing in with the shrubs because these are. They're not that much different from each other, are they? This one's slightly darker. Slightly more toasted, but, uh, hmm. Decisions, decisions. I hate making decisions. Let's work on the road shading first. Let's start with that. Let us start there. All right. Oh. So going back and looking at our test sketch that I did. I had just determined that we would topy tope the um, shading on our he keeps referring it to it as a road it just doesn't look big enough to me for a car I'm gonna keep calling it a pathway it might be a little thick let's go a little bit lighter. Alright, and remember these are highlights. So we don't necessarily need these to be thick, thick, thick boys and gals. especially in this instance. So I had less on that third live stream to edit down than I thought I did. I'm still learning how they're doing the timestamp coding, trying to figure it out on this uh, Da Vinci thing. And uh, so I got the third live stream finished from the last project and I started the fourth one but then I was kind of like wait I need to take a break my hand wants a break my brain wants a break because I get all sorts of distracted 
when I am working on it. So um, I dropped the fourth session in on that. We still got quite a few sessions to go on editing that guy. Don't get me wrong, we, we do, but um, I decided to pause there and try to get some building work recorded in Planet Zoo late last night. I was a bit distracted, so I'm not sure. Uh, I'm probably going to have to cut down a good amount of what I recorded. Because <laughs> um, I got distracted by a video on the other screen that I was listening to. And I was like, wait, what? And I was like, oh, shit. I wasn't recording and I was placing something. And I was just like, well, damn. So I'm definitely going to have to... come back in and uh, do a bit of editing on that and then I uh, loud vehicle sorry I misinterpreted the plethora of flamingos that were in that were done their quarantine because some of the quarantine on them like I was getting like all of these messages flooding in at once saying oh this one's seriously injured this one is ill that called and then it was saying oh this one passed quarantine this one passed quarantine and i'm like okay and then i'm trying to figure out who the heck passed quarantine because i was losing track of the messages and um they were flying by so fast and i didn't understand that the little quarantine symbol next to the animal on the animal list in, in the main zoo management screens meant that they had passed. I thought it meant that there was a problem and they still had to stay. So I was grabbing everybody else <laughs> that didn't have the symbol next to them. I'm like, oh, these guys are fine without hovering over the symbol, not realizing it would tell me something. And uh, sent them to the exhibit, I guess, before they had finished their quarantine. <laughs> And then when they got in the exhibit, I'm getting messages, oh, seriously injured, seriously ill, vet called. And I'm like, well, who is this? And then I'm clicking on, I'm like, where are they? And it said they were in the exhibit. And I was like, huh? Why are you just finding their problem now? When, uh, when they already went through quarantine, I'm confused. And then I went back to the main animal screen and you'll probably see it because I'll probably leave this part edited in where I actually finally did hover over the symbol and I'm like, well, what's the symbol mean? And I was like, oh, when you hover over the symbol, the symbol says quarantine passed. And I was like, ah, okay, right. So I did get the, the flamingos in and situated and I was actually surprised at how um, happy they were with the terrain from uh, just getting thrown in there. I figured I was gonna have to do a bit more um, terrain adjustment between like grass and dirt and rocks and all that. Uh, they were actually fairly happy with what was there. I did adjust it a little bit just for um, appearance's sake because it looked like a mud pit. And they were probably happy with it being a mud pit, but I wasn't, so. I was like, no, no. It's like that, because it was raining and it just looked like a wet, muddy mess. And I'm like, no, let's get a little more grass in here or something. But they like so few trees, it was really hard to, uh, or so few plant coverage. It was hard to, um, get their foliage needs like I'm like right at the max amount and it could really use more for the size of the exhibit I'd really like some more in there but they're like no it's like but it looks so open and barren and they're like no I said no lady I'm like alright well, that's 
how we're gonna be. That's how we're gonna be. Oh, we will be doing Thursday's stream as of right now. We are gonna attempt to head out to the zoo tomorrow. Tomorrow looks to be about the best day for like the next two to three weeks, so. And we know they do like a lot of summer camp groups that uh, go to the zoo and then it gets busy and school's gonna be letting out soon because I think the seniors here graduate in May and then I think the other kids finish out the year a little like maybe a week or two later so I just want to get in before the place gets a little too crowded I mean I don't see that many high school seniors going to the zoo in my brain but uh, you never know it might be the thing to do in that area where you can hang out all day can you go check that sweetie mm -hmm. can you go check that yeah just make sure it didn't um, mm -hmm. escape the pot. Sorry, we're having pot roast for dinner. And it suddenly got really strong smelling and I'm like, did it overflow? It shouldn't have. Okay, it just started smelling really strong all of a sudden. I'm like, did it bubble over? I haven't really had anything bubble over in that particular pot. But, with what I put in there, sometimes it gets things a little weird in there. With how it behaves. Plus, I had to turn it up a little bit higher than I normally would because... I'm trying to get it done at a time that my mom can eat. Maybe just a little bit more down in here. And then I think we'll be looking a bit spiff spiff here. I've probably got a little bit more highlighting on there than he does, but that's okay. Oh, I almost forgot. So if anybody wants to follow along with the original tutorial, There is the link to that. It's on his YouTube. Stop that. The stupid news bank. It's part of like the Windows 11 start screen. I mean, I like seeing the headlines that I might have missed every so often. And I like the fact that it's telling me the temperature outside. But I keep forgetting that I have to pay attention to where my mouse is sitting or else the news window slides out and covers two-thirds of my screen. Makes it a little difficult to see what we're doing. We'll see on the screen what we're doing. No, it's actually supposed to be like 76 tomorrow in Tulsa and sunny. The rest of the week, it's got a good chance of thunderstorms and showers in the afternoon. And you know, it's an outdoor activity. I mean, there's a couple of indoor buildings, but for the most part, outdoor activity. I, I hope 
that they've put a lot more of the birds back on exhibit because they had a lot of them off exhibit for um, the bird flu stuff. Alright, so we kind of started with the paint box mustard, so I think I'm going to at least continue that line back there before we get into the other colors here. Oh, that went out. I lit a new incense stick. And it was contained. in its box. But I guess I had the lid on a little too tight with that box. That box is a little strange as to whether um, it's going to stay lit or not. Oh, my hands. Hot mess. Okay. So I'll do a couple of streaks of this one through here, and then we'll switch off to another color. So I am making plans to uh, attempt a free, well, not really a free form, but a, a my own brainchild, um, latch hook rug. We found a program that we can put a photo or an art file into to help work out the pattern layout. And I came across on the internet perusing that uh, there's a company out there that does the pre-cut yarn in the right latch hooky length. Um, that uh, is not too badly priced for it. Or I can just get some, some other yarn specifically for it because it will blow through a lot of the yarn I have to fluff with. Um, if, I, if I use it for both projects. That won't probably be happening till maybe midsummer. We'll have to see. I have to price things out. I have to get the, the piece I want. I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do. I kind of want to do a small flamingo icon, the channel mascot. Small, I mean, but like maybe six by six or something if I can get that to look right. But we might also do the channel banner. That would be fun. Again, if I can get it to to look right. <clears throat> So I just want to get a little bit of this. I'm still finding glitter from Christmas. Frick's sake. I just want to get a little bit of this shade in so that when we flip over to the other shade, it's not quite as 
Mm, jarring, maybe? I don't know. It's not quite just all of that other color. Still in frame here a bit. So I might record that one. Or one of them. We will see. We will see. And I probably wouldn't be putting them on the floor. Because cats. So I would probably just be um, displaying them on the wall. Because there's ways that you can do it. There's a couple different display methods. If you're going to use them as a piece of art instead of, say, you know, an actual ruggy ruggy. I know it looks like a hot mess at the moment, but you know, we gotta hang in there with it. You know, it's not gonna look fabulous or even close to fabulous until we get a bit further along. But yeah, I do kind of want to bring in that darker color just to... <coughs> Excuse Thank me. You. Thank you. Um, just to break up and have a little bit of difference between the bushes back here. A bit of ground separation between the shades. So, dark dark or medium dark? I'm kind of thinking... Maybe medium dark. But dark dark would definitely be a different shade. So what is this? This is glorious gold. This is paint box. Acrylic yarn um, in there. Simply chunky. I mean, that is definitely a separation in the shades. Wow, that makes the mustard in the paint box absolutely like French's mustard yellow, not like brown mustard. Doesn't it? Wow. Still allergy season. I'm not quite as bad as I was. I do feel slightly better at the moment. But they haven't fully settled down yet.
think that coming in will definitely help a bit here to get us looking a little bit better. Oh, so um, since I goofed last week and didn't realize that I was saying, oh yeah, they're doing a live stream to showcase the upcoming summer stuff for Coral Island. I didn't realize it was the day before because I didn't know what day it was apparently, like the date. Um, they did do a text update um, on Steam under their development update stuff for the game. So if you want to at least see some of what might be coming in. Though I was a little confused though reading it because the scent stuff for the bugs to make them not, for different types of bugs and to make you um, less noticeable to them is already in. So I was surprised that they were saying that that was coming in in the summer update that's coming in sometime this month. Um, I was like, but isn't it already? And I'm still super confused about how the mushroom logs work because I haven't had a single mushroom pop up. Like I said, I don't know if I'm actually supposed to be watering them or not. I'm going to try this experiment where I keep watering them even though it doesn't look like it's doing anything. Just to see what happens. That's not so bad. I mean, I've got a couple loose guys hanging out there. But that's definitely giving us a bit of a separation line in there. That's good. That's good. Because it was, it was running together a little too much in there. And I was getting a little nervous that it was just going to look like this was all one hedgerow. So yay, multi-shades to the rescue. Woohoo. Alright, so we can have this a little bit more... Um, Uh, thinned out a little, I guess. Since we've got the darker green underneath. And I'm not trying to cover up that other shade that we just dropped in there. I'm not. It should still be A little bit visible in between here. And definitely okay if we've got some of our base screen kind of popping up in between in spots. That's fine. And we're also going to have some, some shrubbery hanging out in here of slightly different shades. between our buttercup yellow and, and these guys that we pulled out here just to try to make some stuff happening. And we'll have some little things sticking up along the side of our pathway here as we move along. <laughs> so again, I don't want this super like solidly thick here. I just want some grassy shades coming in here. I don't want it as solidly thick as like we have our purple sky. That would be totally pointless to go quite that heavy since you know we put the green down to begin with.
And he might have used a weird combo of the colors that he had on his brush when he was putting in the base of this section. It was kind of more like a suggestion of sap green with really heavy on like the ochre and the cad yellow kind of mixed together. And then mixing with that um, liquid white. We were thin in there, so I wanted to make sure we were actually attached. Okay. Got another section here. And then I'm kind of folding it over on itself, so it is making it a little bit more robust than if I hadn't, but at the same time, it's still not all that terribly robust. I don't know what color we will paint our dowel rods on this one. I just don't know. Probably not green. <laughs> Probably not. I have a purple. That's pretty similar to the sky color. That could work. Could very well work just to tie in our subtle like lilac-y it's a little bit darker than um, lavender, I would think. Maybe more of like an iris. Yeah, that's looking... I like that. I like how... We are definitely a different shade than our shrubbery up here. And, you know, we do have a little bit of our darker shades of green kind of poking through. Maybe those are dips in the ground or something. We still have to put in our shadow or our shrubbery along our pathway. We do definitely have that that still needs to go in. And that will fill in some of this wide open space here. But we'll wait to put that in until we get both sides kind of figured out here. Because I'm still trying to figure out what the heck he had going on here. It just kind of looks like when you try to break it down and get in there and try to find his individual shrubberies, as he likes to call them, or trees and stuff, bushes. I'm having a hard time picking out the individuals because it just kind of looks like the brush just kind of smushed everything because the shades are so similar in this particular 
area. And I get it's supposed to be kind of thick, dense. Um, wooded area. Maybe a little overgrown. I do get that. But. It doesn't make it. any easier on my end to uh, interpret what I need to do with what I have at my disposal, so. <clears throat> I think I might be a little thick there. All right. I definitely need to fluff some more stuff when we get done with this guy. Dig through all of my yarn. Top some of our fluff bags off. still might grab a bit more of the paint box mustard and uh, maybe add that in here a little bit to some of the darker spots. I don't know yet. haven't fully decided on that. I might wait until we get all of the shade put in and then kind of see how I'm feeling because I don't want to go too light in here because then that might mess up our our incoming shrubs and like right now it's it is a, it's there it's subtle but it's there you can see it's a little bit lighter in through here. Maybe there's a little bit more sun poking in. And it definitely seems a little bit darker where we're a little bit thinner and more of our hunter green. is uh, filtering through. So we'll see what we can uh, come up here with. that guy over. Alright, yeah, he's looking pretty good there, I think, for what we've got done so far, in comparison. I mean, we're approaching it in a slightly different way than Bob did, but that's okay. It's okay. trying to outline this too hard.
Looking pretty good. That is a little bit of a darker spot in there. I'm just doing this to get everybody to make sure that we are cooperating and laying flat. I mean, it's hard to keep all of the lines completely straight when you're doing this because it likes to pull from whatever direction even when I am going straight up and down because I know sometimes, most of the time, um, I'm in on an angle. Probably shouldn't be. Just kind of happens that way. You don't belong on that side. What are you doing there, friend? What are you trying to do? Silly thing. Alright. Guess they were being shy. They wanted to enter from the wrong way. Wrong way, Sally. Okay. So let's start to... Get this tapped into here. So I am trying to keep my lines on, at least on the edges somewhat even. I'm not quite as worried about the top edge right here because we're going to have our dowel rods that we're going to glue across the top. And we can use that to kind of even up the um, other one, or the, the top edge, rather. And my glue dried on our twine on the one from yesterday. I've got that one hanging up. I need to get a picture of it finished and hung up for you guys. Doesn't look half bad. Alright, so we're just kind of fussing with this piece in here. Get this in. I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to place it first. Sorry, I keep hearing something. I don't know what it is. At first, I thought it was a cat messing with the dog's water bowl behind me but there's water in it so they shouldn't be and there's nobody there so it didn't look like the husband was doing anything that would be causing that noise Sounded like a metallic y nudgy noise. Maybe not metallic y, just like something scraping. Okay. 
that looks pretty good. I mean, I got a couple of stragglers here. Little flyaway end pieces that are not fully attached, but uh, that's all right. It's a okay. song like popping up in my head so sorry for the doo-doo doo doos but that song now wants to be in my head I keep forgetting I do not need to be on the very edge of the mat Do the thing. Okay, that's not a written rule anywhere. <laughs> so you can be in the middle of the map. In fact, that's probably a bit easier to see when I am in the middle of the map. Definitely want to add a little bit more in here on this color. Oh yeah, I might add a little bit more of that yellow. I know I was thinking about waiting, but you can actually see it really good on the camera how it's blending in. how our shading is looking. I was a little hesitant at first. So I wasn't sure if, you know, we kind of had a, a little bit of an amount there, but definitely not that much. Don't need a huge, huge amount here. Maybe we take some of this. Again, you don't need to be on the very edge. Uh, get rid of this guy. We'll work it into here. Well, our connection definitely stabilized, from what I could tell. Might have been a twitch thing.
I'm not afraid of. It's looking pretty good. Maybe we'll add another little bit of the paint box mustard. And I'm saying paint box mustard because we also have the big twist mustard and the shades are very different. This is maybe a little bit duller than like the color of French's mustard, maybe. And the big twist mustard is kind of more like a spicy brown mustard. Partially why I try to distinguish or mention which brand I am currently fussing with and which shade we're currently fussing with. Yeah, that's not looking too, too bad here. For some reason I was not coming right up to the edge of our pathway though. That was silly. I was kind of in here and then I left this gappy gap right in there. Not really sure what that was about. Oh, that's a that's a thick bright section right there. Well, it doesn't look like I meant to do that be that far off the edge because as I was tapping in a little bit further out it was pulling it away so at least we got that second here. Okay. So now, so we're currently these headphones. They're easier on the inside of my ears, but if I have them on the higher notch where they fit my ears better, then they start to make my entire ear sore, like on the outside of my ear. 
I just can't win. One of these days. Maybe for Christmas. Since I don't think I really need all that much for Christmas. I don't really need anything, but I might ask for a pair of wireless earbuds and just call it a day because I, we're going to be trying to put money away for a For Florida, I think. Possibly, potentially. So I'm still not really all that sure why he went with this dark strip in here. I guess maybe to kind of signify it's like a ditch or maybe it's like a drainage canal or something and maybe it sits a little bit lower or maybe there's trees above that were shading it that just aren't in view but he did make this whole section where the bridge is gonna start very dark. Alright, back to our glorious gold. Ooh, look at that fluff. Look at that fluff pull. Herd of cheese bowl. Look at that fluff. It's beautiful. Probably not as delicious as a cheese pull, but if we're talking non-edible delicious, maybe. Just maybe. Ah, let go. Alright, so we'll work on getting some more of our guys in here. Yeah, I'm probably going to come back in and add a little bit more along our edge here because it's kind of like how our edge was up here where we just couldn't seem to overlap it quite enough. As we were going along here, so... gonna do just like little little chunky chunks at a time here so I can always come back in and add more um, this is gonna be a son of a gun trying to take something away, so it might just be still a huge pain in the ass, but easier to recolor and reset that area by grabbing more fluff and putting it on top and trying to redo it, but it's just easier. To, uh, start with less and then work it on up, in my opinion. Okay. 
Now we are going to have some little bushy guys along the edge of the path in certain spots, depending, you know, height, length, whatever. Um, but still want to make sure that we're getting this um, filled in right up on the edge of it, if not coming over it just ever so slightly. Just to prevent any issues later. Now is really when we have the opportunity to get in here and fix it. I'm not liking how it's filling in. So let's grab this guy. So it is Monday. Um, I hope everybody's Monday's going all right. Mondays can be rough. Whatever day of the week your Monday happens to be. It doesn't have to specifically be on a Monday. Your um your Friday might be on Monday. I know that might not make a lot of sense to Monday through Friday 9 to 5 workers, but a lot of service industry and retail workers probably understand what I'm saying. Hell, I had, uh, was it two Mondays? Yeah, I had two Mondays working at uh, the craft store for a, a good long while. That was tough. to come right back in here though. Still got a little bit of a gray section there. It has nothing to do with the shading on our pathway. did your weekend go? Was it god awful or was it enjoyable? Or are you looking forward to your next weekend coming up? Mother's Day is coming up, you guys. Oh, 
as well as the Kentucky Derby, and I feel bad. I used to be pretty into horse racing. Probably an influence from uh, my grandfather. My dad was a bit too. I wasn't as into it as them where they would sit there and really dig through the, the racing forms and all the training info and time splits and everything. I didn't. A lot of that just kind of went over my head. to say. Well, I've kind of stopped following it, but um, I have no idea who's even running. Like, I would watch post-position draw for it and all the fanfare and all that. There was hell to pay if I had to miss the uh, the broadcast of it and then I started working on the weekends and half the time I wasn't able to get home in time to catch any of it and then I kind of just fell away from it I mean I could have went back and watched the replays after the fact. And sometimes once in a while I still do, but it's like the moment kind of passed on it. There was a good long while where I was like, yeah, I want to go and see that live one day. And then I think, um, reality set in of how large the crowds were there and uh, how much um, being in large crowds I, I couldn't handle anymore so not to mention I'd probably never be able to afford a grandstand ticket And I would more than likely be out in the uh, center outfield. And the more I thought about it, the more I was like, that's a long day. To be out there. Now, I might have been able to transition back and forth to certain areas in the grandstand. I don't know. I never really looked that deeply into the tickets. I know they were hella expensive. Or at least to me they were hella expensive where I was like, I don't know about this. Like, I'd like to see this in person someday, but at the same point at that time. Like, is this pricing really worth it? when I could watch from home and have my own potty and my own snacks that I probably didn't have to pay $20 a piece for. I don't know how much food pricing was, I'm just using an example of something that was probably going to be overpriced because of situation and circumstances and all that. You know, sporting event pricing is usually a little bit exuberant because they kind of gotcha where you can't really leave and go get something to eat and come back
so I do apologize that it feels like we're moving pretty slow on this guy. Um, haven't really been able to do any real long sessions on him like we have on other ones, so it might seem like it's taking us longer because of how many sessions we in we are in on it. Excuse me. Um, but if you break it down and look at the times on the sessions, we actually haven't been working as many hours on this one so far as we have in previous ones. Because there were some sessions where we would go like three and a half, four hours sometimes. But most of the sessions on this one have been, I think, under three. So that is kind of factoring in how long it takes us to get there. But I'm also not really in a rush. So I'm kind of like, eh, we'll get there when we get there. some of those flyaways on these straggly ends that were kind of hanging out all over the place. I do want to add a little bit more in here. Might add a little bit more in there. I know that looks a little too thin. Because if we're going to fuss it, now is the time to fuss it. Instead of waiting till after we put the shrubbery in, that might make a little bit of a mess of things if we wait until then to try to fix any um, thin spots on the ground, trying to work in and around the shrubs. and bushes and all that. <laughs> all right. Hey, can you do me a favor? Can you um, take those tongs that are next to it and okay. grab it? Yeah, and flip it over. Right. Sorry, pot roast happening. I have like just enough water in there to just barely cover the top of it. I want to make sure that the side that's facing the top is getting the same amount of love from the heat from the burner as the other side. I mean, I'm sure it is. for it not to be. <laughs> yes, I'm going to lose some editing time tomorrow. Since we will probably be out most of the day.
but that's okay. We'll get there. So I got three live stream sessions that were about three hours long each. Edited down into about eh, 30, 35 minutes. So that's not bad. Between cutting out all the times where I wasn't stabbing something, where I was like flipping over, pulling off the mat, running my mouth, you know. All that stuff. And then speeding up where I was stabbing the things. We've managed to get that down to about 35 minutes at the moment. So I'm not trying to make this super thick. I'm trying to look at it on the screen though because it's giving me a slightly different perspective than what I'm seeing directly in front of me. And sometimes you need that. It can be easy to get so involved in what you're doing that you kind of piss away something good that you had because you went a little too far. Well, that was a satisfying pull. I could feel all the fiber pulling out of the mat from the back side here. That was like, like a Velcro pull. That, that was very oddly satisfying. It shouldn't have been, but it certainly felt like it. And definitely not as scritchy as the Velcro. You okay? Uh To do a couple of things tonight. We're gonna bring our own lunch with us tomorrow because the prices for what we got weren't all that great from the one eatery. Like most of the stuff was heat lamped, I guess, because it was kind of towards the end of lunch rush, but it was still very, very busy. It was like around 12.30, so I guess it was still kind of lunch rushy, but they're okay with you bringing in your own food and a cooler. Just can't have any glass or alcohol that you're bringing in with you. You can purchase um, alcohol there, apparently, but... Uh, they don't want you bringing in any from outside, which, you know, fair, I guess. And they definitely have a lot of, a lot of places that you can sit and eat. So we'll, we'll find some place to, uh, sit down. We're going to try to leave probably around 8, 8.30. Oh, I'm going to have to actually go to bed at a decent time tonight. Fuck. That's going to be tough. I was thinking, yeah, you know, maybe we can do a bonus stream tomorrow when I get home. Since I'm probably not going to be editing. But at the same time, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm probably going to be too fucking tired. So 
do much of anything. Oh, that's what he's doing. He like ducked back in and then I saw something in his hands and then he ducked back out. Um, I think he's starting some laundry. We still have a few later sections in here that I want to, or um, dark green sections that I want to fill in here. So here's a little bit darker than I want. into there. <sighs> okay, so that's not bad. This looks a little thin in here. this guy in here. Now it's probably going to be a little crowded tomorrow, but um, here's to hoping it won't be too bad. looking too shabby here. I mean, I know this bottom edge is going to be a little wonky, but this is going to be our darker green again, and then we're going to have some of our lighter green, or, or, well, not really a lighter green, a lighter sheet of what the base green is going to be sticking up out of here. So, um, like, maybe, like, wreaths or something going across here. So I'm not going to worry too much about Our, um, our bottom edge of our line there because I think we're going to get covered up for the most part in there. Um, I do think I want to be a little bit more filled in over here though. So don't forget if you missed any of the live stream sessions on this project and you want to catch back up they are archived on the youtube channel same name is here should be a link somewhere on the page to it maybe it's in my about stuff i don't know it should be in one of those tabs down there Same name as we are here. Tried to keep it similar names across the, the different platforms just to make it a little bit easier. But we'll see how that goes. Pretty 
good. I do see that we've got a slightly darker section in there. But I'm not really feeling, so let's get him tapped in a bit here. And remember, as we get done putting stuff in here, we can always come back with a little bit more of our other lighter mustard color and uh, fill some of this in here if we're just not quite happy with the density that we're at. This is an option. I mean, I don't want to completely cover everything that we've got happening here, but... We don't also need quite so much of our dark green broken through, at least I don't think we do. of it. We do. I don't want to kiss all of it away. It looked like I had a little bit of, um, A gray splotch peeking through into there so I just wanted to fill that in and I think I've got another one over here that's kind of being rude about it so just gonna tap this guy into there and then I might add just a little bit more in between here. to the other side, don't worry, we'll get there. We're just not quite there yet. My finger was just kind of in the way because I was making sure that our needle didn't grab everything and concentrate it into that one spot before I really wanted it to be. I wanted to get a little bit more coverage worked into here. Of our 
or dark green, but as I'm going here, I'm like, mm, that chunk's standing out, and I don't like that it's standing out quite that much. see about uh, adding some stuff to the other side then. That's looking pretty good in there. Got some loose guys all over the place in here, so I just want to make sure that we're being diligent with our attaching of things. You all right? Yeah, just going through your work on. I would have thought by now that you would have learned to look down when you walk, but. I will say the cats do suddenly surprise me, but the cats come flying out of nowhere. This, I don't want this to be too solid, but I do want it to be a little bit solid as we start on our other side here. guy into place. I'm going to wait to do um, the shrubbery until we get all of our grassy things in here. Get a better feel for placement and stuff. And perhaps where everybody would look better. his stuff it looks like he does have a little bit of like a lighter green mixture in there or maybe like a sap green and a cat yellow mixed together in this section so um we'll be able to do that and maybe some other lighter yellowy guys get this uh, rolled together here. Alright, get this guy worked into here on our edge.
Okay. I mean, it's hard to believe we're on like eight sessions and we're only, what, nine minutes in? We'll probably get to the bridge itself um, come next weekend. <laughs> or at least start putting it. No, we should probably finish the bridge itself next weekend. Come to think of it. working on getting a little bit more of our paint box mustard yellow which looks really pale in comparison to our glorious gold color here I would say this is more of a, a yellow ochre this guy now that I'm thinking about it don't know if I'm going to go back and add any of this up into here. That might be a little overkill. Might make it a little too busy back there, adding another different shade, but that's okay. It can, this, this kind of looks like maybe a more sunlit version of that. That's why I'm trying to add this back in to certain places and down in here. Like, I don't want to go too much on this. That was probably too faint to hear, but that was pretty awesome de, uh, de matting sound there. I don't want to go too crazy with this color. You know, we want a little bit of it in here. Just a little bit. Okay. Sorry, I had to do something real quick. So. Valentino's still swimming around. He's hiding in his plants at the moment. I was investigating one of the feathers that's on my pen. That's, uh, I think the air from the fan on the PC is moving it. And he was like, what is this? And then he decided he was bored of looking at that and moved on. He actually likes to follow the smoke trails around from the one incense burner. So I had tried to light that when we were getting started and then it went out. And I just didn't go back and try to relight it. Back to our 
glorious gold. Continue on with this guy. So I'm trying to come up over the edge of our pathway here in a couple places. Just to kind of give us that overgrown feel a bit. along the sides and give some place for our shrubbery to sit. Sorry, my ears started itching. I'm like, why? What is your deal? It was one of those incessant itches that just overrides everything. It's like, no, I must deal with you right this second. getting to be near dinner time. Well, not quite dinner time. It's getting closer to dinner time. For me. I already told you guys what we're having. So what are you guys having? Or is that more something that you do on a whim in the moment? Be like, hmm, this I have to plan it out a little bit more than that because some stuff I have to take out of the freezer to thaw. I actually need to take stock of the freezer supply in the next day or two and see what we have to work with. have a fair amount of stuff. We will see. We might not necessarily need that much meat this month. Might get like one or two things just so I don't run out. Ooh, we could get a whole chicken. And do a baked chicky chicky. We could potentially do that. But tonight is pot roast sandwiches. With some sort of vegetable. My mom's probably gonna be like, no, don't give me any vegetables. In which case, I will probably have some vegetables for me. I need something with it. She keeps yelling at me for feeding her too much. I'm like, I'm hardly feeding you. And I didn't say you had to clean your plate, like, eat what you can. I'm just trying to make sure that you got enough of a portion. Since I'm splitting it between the two of us, and I'm only cooking for two, most of the time. Unless it's something that Russell 
is uh, willing to eat that I make, or can eat, or I guess I should say can bring himself to eat. food anxiety stuffs. Eating can sometimes be a battle. Speaking of, what are you doing for food? Tomorrow. Mm -hmm. What are you doing for food for tomorrow? Uh, I'm gonna bring ham. I think you should make some peanut butter crackers too. I can't make peanut butter crackers ahead of time, and I'll have trouble eating them because I won't be able to clean my hands properly. Even if worst, we bring worst case, I'll have some granola bars. Oh, well, I just wanted to make sure that you had an option in case you couldn't do the ham. I do, I do have options. Okay. I might also grab some combos just to see if I can pull it off. Okay. I just didn't want you to only bring one option in case option one wasn't doable at the time. Okay, what time is it? Alright, we still have a little bit. That uh, we can keep going here. Thicker than I necessarily wanted him to be. So we did kind of just steamroll over our lighter yellow there, but eh, we might pull that off. We'll just uh, do some extra tap in here. Get that woven in a little bit more. Okay. All right. All right. Like, it doesn't have to mirror the other side, but we kind of want it to be similar to the other side, at least. completely lose the angle of our road, but this back here did need to be a little bit skinnier. That's kind of why I'm bringing this over a little bit more. Kind of. Kind of. Getting there. Slowly but surely. <laughs> I 
definitely a slower medium to work with, but I like working with it. I know it doesn't quite give the instant uh, gratification that a lot of people's patience or attention spans seem to need. But it also, getting there's, the journey's part of it, basically. You know, you're, you're learning stuff as you go, you're learning what, what you like the look of, what you don't like the look of. And uh, learning how to bring different things together. Because on the surface, you know, he, he waves his brush around and poof, he's done. But even when you're painting with him, like, I couldn't keep up with him. I had to, a lot of it was my own indecisiveness and nervousness at messing up. But even so, you know, pausing and trying to do the things because I kind of need to see it first instead of just watching as it's done and keeping up because I need to try to figure out where things are going ahead of time so I can set stop here boundaries in my brain of being like okay don't go any further than that something else is gonna go there I, I just I, I need visuals it makes things less scary <laughs> so um, so even following him with paints, with the oil paints, like the proper paints, um, would still take me about four hours. Which I guess isn't too bad. All things considered. We've been doing this for a little bit, but I'm still kind of finding my feet with it. I, I do enjoy it, and um, I don't claim to be an expert in it in any stretch of the imagination, because I'm not. Um, we're just kind of fumbling and bumbling our way through, for the most part, and hoping we get something that we don't hate in the end. <laughs> Basically. But I mean, all in all, I'm not doing half bad with uh, this guy. And you know, just getting that, the grass color in and starting to put it in on here, it is starting to feel pretty good. For where we're at at the moment. have some shrubs over here on the edges. In fact, we, we probably will. Get some little bushes and trees and little tiny trees.
Okay. We're making quite a dent on that original fluff ball that we had pulled out, right? Let's, let's do another fluff pull. What? <laughs> no, no, the three fluff Oh, I thought you were laughing at me. I was like, what? It's like a cheese pull, but it's fluff. Kind of looks like cheese. Same color as some cheeses. I'm gonna say, don't, don't make fun of the fluff pull. Yeah, I'm kind of excited to start to work on my own um, latch hook rug pattern. Well, it's not entirely my own husband. The, the first thing or two we might do might be art that the husband did for the channel, but it wouldn't be like a... Uh, it would be an original design. It wouldn't be a pattern out of a kit, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Although some of those kits are very lovely. Some of them are also very pricey, but some of them are very lovely. Pretty, pretty good in here. Alright, grab another bit of fluff of flues. Nah. I don't need all of you at once, thanks. So, I mean, it really doesn't look anything like our test sketch right now. It happens. Um, the test sketch is never... Well, that nighttime snowy cabin one looked pretty close to our sketch. I, I will say that. But, uh... A lot of the times it's just so that I can do it once and kind of get a feel for um, placement of things and, you know, try to get a feel of what colors I want to use. Make those decisions ahead of time so that way I don't spend, you know, 20 minutes sticking back and forth when we're trying to get stuff done about changing a color or picking a color. And, you know, that way, if I already have the color predetermined and we sit down and start to use it, like we did in this case, um, for this section where I was like, you know what, I think I have a better color option. And I did. We still used a little bit of that original color, but... Um, it's uh, not looking too shabby, and again... If we go by or follow Bob's words of wisdom, this is our world, our own individual worlds. So if this is the color that our grass is, this is the color that our grass is in this section with a little bit of the dark green poking through. Doesn't have to look exactly like his. We're just kind of following his tutorial for guidance and trying to make something that, you know, when you look at the final piece and then you look at ours and be like, mm, maybe. I can kind of see what you were going for. With a bit of luck, that's what, you know, the thought process we can hopefully end up with at the end. I mean, I do have quite a bit of air in between our our shrubs back here, but that was more of a stylistic choice than anything. This was definitely a bit softer and a bit more blended, but I just... It's hard to pull that off with this. I would have had to have been weaving the purple like in between sections of trees back again, and I was like, meh. I kind of like our little 
strokey splashes of color back in there. guy kind of pulled apart here and let's see the neighbor's been a busy guy this afternoon he's been running like all of the errands Walked up the street for a minute and then he's back. He ran out earlier and came right back. Now he's going back out again. It's funny because that time he didn't sit there and let the truck run for 20 minutes. But he'll do that when he's going to work. Whether it's like 5.30 in the evening or 5.30 in the morning. And for some reason, the sound of that truck warming up or just running, you can hear it in our entire house, whether the windows are open or shut. And for some reason in our bathroom, it's really loud, which is funny considering it's on the opposite side of the house. Like you can just feel the hum on the walls in there. It's like, why? Why is this a thing? Why is the sound of this just take over quite so much? But I mean, there's worse neighbors to have, or more worse neighbors that we could have. I don't know what the proper word is there. Worse, more worse. They're not that bad. Um, oh, did you dump the fire pit? Yeah. Okay. We um we did a fire last night, and uh, we were sitting there toasting the marshmallows, and one of the neighbor's grandkids was out on their back porch, and they kept yelling hay at us, and we didn't realize that they were yelling at us at first. And then Russell heard them talking to somebody else over there about the fact that we had marshmallows or something. And I'm like, uh-oh. Because their back deck sits higher than the height of their fence so they could see into the backyard. And it was still light out, so. Because we thought my mom was going to actually come out. But... Um, Russell saw a gardener, a gardener snake. Is it gardener or is it gardener? With a D or a T, I'm not sure which. Um, out there, and I think he made the mistake of telling my mom, so now she's afraid to go in the backyard. <laughs> Even though we could have walked next to her, she's like, "No, I'm not going back there ever, ever again." But then she tried to say, well, I'm going to watch my show anyway. It's coming on in a minute. And we're like, uh-huh. Sure. I was like, do we need to make one and bring it to you? And she goes, yeah. And then I brought it to her. And she goes, oh. And I was like, what? You said you wanted one. She goes, I thought you guys were teasing me. I was like, am I ever going to ask you if you want one and then not bring it? Like, what the hell kind of monster am I? I mean, we might not get along the best, but... I'm not that much of a bitch. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna dangle something in front of you and say, oh, do you want one? And then not bring it.
but we find we got the smaller marshmallows. They had like bigger square marshmallows that Russell had gotten that was almost the size of the one side of the graham crackers. They might have been labeled as like s'mores marshmallows, but they were so thick that the outside was like almost burnt, but the inside of the marshmallow was still pretty solid. So when we were going to put them on our chocolate and graham cracker, like the outer shell was like pulling off. And um and uh, there he is. When did you pop in? Um and it was like leaving the center of the marshmallow still on the stick. So it was like, eh, what is this? Like why? <laughs> what is this madness? And then it was just so much marshmallow that it was like bleeding over the sides of, I guess oozing would be a better word, over the sides of the graham cracker. And it was just everywhere and we're like, Ugh. It's like too much marshmallow for the ratio going on there. Ooh, do they still make those things? Who made them? Was it Pepperidge Farm? Make what? The chocolate covered s'mores? I know I've seen them around, but I don't know who made them. That were the individual. I don't know about individual, but I've seen like they were package like, goods like that. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, we were getting them when we worked out at Walmart. Yeah. Uh, I thought it was something fancier. It might have been. I thought it was pepper. But I, I don't remember seeing that particular brand in a while. I know they have something like that in the cookie aisle, but that's about it. Because they were like huge. They were like extra big squared marshmallow and graham cracker, and they had it dipped in chocolate on the outside. I mean, they were kind of rich, but since it wasn't melty, it wasn't. It was a little bit easier to uh, to eat all of it, but we had to get just the normal size marshmallow, and it was a lot easier. My mouth didn't feel quite so filmy, I guess, from the from the marshmallow taking over. I don't know. For me, there is definitely such a thing as too much marshmallow. Sorry, I keep smelling something and I don't know what it is. Maybe it's that first stick of incense. Something keeps smelling slightly chemically. And it's kind of distracting me. And I've been smelling it off and on. I'm like, what the fuck is this? figure out what I'm going to wear tomorrow. I know I'm wearing clothes, so don't... Nobody needs to be a smart ass and say, well, clothes. I know I need to do that. I have to figure out what kind of clothes. I need pants that I'm going to be comfy in. So I might wear my... They're not really yoga pants, but they're... They're not really like khaki capris, they're kind of like a yoga pant material, but they're capris. Oh, they're soft. I need I need soft things so I don't be driven mad by like waistbands digging in and stuff. I really want to be comfy. It's going to be a little bit warm, but I also, you know, don't want any bug bites or anything, or and I don't want to get sunburned either. But sometimes the smell of sunblock gives me a migraine. Something about the... I think it's the smell. I don't think it's the stuff in it. I think it's the smell, because the smell... Um, like that coconut, heavy coconut smell just starts to take over in my brain, and that's like starts overloading. my nose and stuff and then before I know it I'm in the middle of a migraine and I don't want that so um I've got my big floppy hat that we got in Florida it's holding up pretty good for a hat made of paper I mean 
It was a nice investment. Supposed to have been made by hand. It was like paper twists. Because I said, don't get it wet. Because it might fall apart. <laughs> I was like, oh shit. But it's not supposed to rain tomorrow, so. And that should at least shield the back of my neck and uh, some of my face. I'll probably still have some kind of sunburn on my face tomorrow, but hopefully it won't be too bad. I think we're going to try to bring our camera tomorrow. The, uh, the good camera. We didn't bring it last time. Because the husband thought he was going to be pushing my mom in the wheelchair for the majority of the time, and I ended up doing it. I was okay. Some of the paths were a little tough, but there's a couple uphill paths. But for the most part, it was fine, and we can hang the bag on the back of the wheelchair, or I can carry the camera bag, or he can carry the camera bag. We're going to have our backpack with our lunch in it. I thought we had our soft side, well, it was deceiving. The outside of the cooler was soft, but we had a plastic insert. It was like a rubbery plastic um, that we used on many of our car trips. And um, I, th I thought we still had it, but he's like, no, we got rid of it. I was like, really? He goes, yeah, it was leaking. And after he said that, I vaguely remembered that um, a hole had opened up next to the seam on the bottom. And while it wasn't necessarily leaking the melting ice, it was leaking the condensation from around the plastic insert shell. Because after he said that, I was like, oh, right, the huge wet spot that was on the back seat. I mean, it, it dried and everything, but I hadn't thought we had gotten rid of it. I thought we still kept it, but maybe we did get rid of it, in which case if we did, we're going to have to replace that if we end up taking my mom to Florida to see my brother. And since my brother's not that much of a people-y person, after a couple of hours, he's like, yeah, I'm done. So we'd probably only spend like a couple of hours there just to have dinner with him and maybe stop there for the night on the way down. She said she actually wanted to go see Key West. I don't know why. I was actually surprised that my cousin and, um, his boyfriend never took her down there when they were living in Florida. I figured that they would have a blast going down there because they went every place else down there under the sun. Dragging her to theme parks that she couldn't really... There was a lot of walking and she couldn't get on any rides. So I'm like, what kind of a ways, isn't it? <laughs> like all that time out in the sun and you're not like doing anything. They had her get on something and she about murdered them because she's like, I can't do this. I need to get off of this. She was so mad at them from what I heard. I don't remember what it was. Was it Spider-Man or something? I don't know. Something at Universal that she was not happy about. I'm like, you went to Universal? It's like all fucking roller coasters. There's not really... I think there's a couple trackless or dark rides, but... Um... Universal's really not your speed. Like, there'd be a couple of things that she could do at Disney, maybe. Like, she might be able to get on It's a Small World, maybe Jungle Cruise, but I don't know if she's quite 
stable enough on her feet to do that anymore. But with them thinking she might have glaucoma, I kind of at least want her to be able to go see my brother because I don't know. We don't know how fast it's progressing. She's got another appointment later this month for them to redo the same tests to see how fast it's moving and how they want to approach it. They're not 100% sure that's what it is. She's like, I can't really see anything. And we were going to set up the table for her to work on her puzzles or whatnot, so she's got something else to do during the day besides stare at the TV and play her little slot machine game on her Kindle that we um, got her when her other tablet bit the dust, but... can't see to put the pieces together very well. She said she can't really tell the shapes, um, the defined edges on them, so it's like, oh, well, that's a problem. Well, we've almost got the grass finished on this other side. Almost. Not quite. We're still relatively straight on our edges. I'm so proud of ourselves. I'm sure that will change when we start to put our shrubs in. Because it's me. Things being lined up doesn't last very long. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just kind of scraping the fibers out a little bit. Just kind of fanning them out a little so it wasn't quite so chunky in that one spot. But I was she surprised me when she said she wanted to go down there and see what it was about. I was like, really? So I'm trying to figure out pricing and where we can go. It might be a little bit cheaper to stay on the newer side of the island. Stay-wise we'd have to drive downtown and park for the day or whatever, but um, cause we're not sure if she's gonna like, um, like the, the little mini bed and breakfasts and stuff. And I'll tell you, the place we stayed before would have been pretty good logistics, but like location wise and stuff. A little pricey for that time of year. Like I, I really don't want to pay that much for a night for it being a vacation rental but um, and not like it being like a private property vacation rental it was like multiple vacation rentals all sharing the same stuff. It wasn't like an individual standing house. Um, but the location was perfect, so you're really paying for location there. But I can't find an open reservation. They, they're they only booking so many months out, it seems. And when you're on their website checking availability, everything is book solid. And I'm just like, really? Like, I never find anything unless it's like three weeks out and then I can't find a week like so many people are doing like two days three days two days and I'm like and there'll be like one day in the middle of the week and I'm like I need a week 
So there is a double tree on the island. I think it's about $80 less a night than the vacation rental was, I think. I gotta look at their events calendar and see what's going on. Because I'd like to book direct, because I've heard stories of people going through like booking.com and getting there and them not having their reservation and I'm like, what are you talking about? And then they like didn't have room. They were full. I was like, so I'm a little nervous to book through third party if I can help it. I'd like to book direct and sometimes you can get some better deals booking direct too. But um, I kind of wanted a place that's got a decent pool and I think the double tree does have a decent pool. There's another one on that side of the island that I had been looking at that also had a, a decent pool to it and I can't remember the name of it now. I'm gonna have to go through TripAdvisor and look at the photos of the places on that side of the island. So I remember what the pool looked like. So. Although I'll tell you, some of the properties down there change ownership. It seems like fairly quickly. A lot of properties changed ownership um, during uh, the pandemic. Cause a lot of these smaller hotels just, you know, they couldn't couldn't pay the uh, all the shit with no guests coming in, so. definitely surprised when some of them like some of the properties kept the same name some of them tweaked the name slightly where it's this management company's property now kind of deal All right. well we're not quite done this section but I think I need to stop there to go start dinner. So we, we did a lot today actually. We got our pathway shaded in a little bit. Um, we got our uh, flat background grass put in over here and we're almost done the background grass over here. So next Sunday or this coming Sunday I guess I should say um, we will work on finishing up this dark green section, getting that filtered in or layered in. And then we'll start to work on our shrubs in this section. And that might take most of next weekend. If we have time, we'll start to work on our dark green section in here next week, but we'll see how, how things go. But that's our tentative plan for um, next week. So I thank you guys for hanging out with me. I, I'm, I'm liking the shading in here. Um, I think that's setting us up to be able to get our yellowy green um, little trees and bushes and things put in there. I hope nobody was playing a drinking game for how many times I said shrubbery. But um, yeah, so that's the plan for next week. Let me see. Is anybody doing... Wow. That's it? Hold on, hold on. I don't believe that to be true. Let me see something real, real quick. Really? Is Twitch having issues or something? Because I only have a couple of people on my list and uh, maybe it's just a Monday thing. I would have thought more people would have been doing stuff. But yeah, so I guess we'll just end it there today. 
So, um, thank you guys for hanging out with me this afternoon. Appreciate it. Um, no stream tomorrow or Wednesday that's planned. I might try to squeeze in a bonus something maybe Wednesday. Maybe we'll pop back into Dinkum. But yeah, for now, that's going to do it. Uh, hope you guys have a great week. And until we're together again, have a good one.